Hi there beautiful people, what's going on? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Today I'm doing a series of reviews. This is the second episode. It's a women's perfume and I kind of like picked it up randomly from one shop. I mean this kind of fragrance, you know I'm like a fragrance lover. So sometimes I pick up fragrances when I like the smell. I have certain things that I really am fan of. So it's summer here right now. It's very hot and humid already. We're getting like 38 degrees, you know, in the Dhaka city. So basically uh, anything that smells fresh, you know, uplifting, kind of like a tropical or so, you know, this kind of fragrances I'm looking for in the summertime. So today we're going to be looking at a fragrance. I think it's discontinued. I don't see this everywhere. This one also has body mist, some other products. Um, but the, I, the one that I have is the EDT version of 30 ml. And this is called Sparkling Citrus Lemon Escape by Victoria's Secret. And I will tell you, this perfume really surprised me. And whatever I'm buying nowadays is surprising me because I, you know, I like them. I test hundreds of fragrances and I buy a few. So this perfume right here is a 30 ml. The presentation is like simple, okay? You see the name and it says the notes here. It says lemon, sugar and coconut. Very simple. Victoria's Secret, you guys know. Okay, let me tell you a little bit of Victoria's Secret. Victoria's Secret, I reviewed uh, Bombshell. It's my first perfume ever. And I did try Very Sexy for him. A few other fragrances and some body mist. Victoria's Secret for me is a sexy house. It's, it's a house that, you know, young women, you know, like attractive women, they even like, Anybody is attractive. They, yeah, it all depends on your attitude and then how you dress or how you, you know, uh, like go about it. But Victoria's Secret always have this lingerie. You know, whenever I go to it, I feel too sexy. <laughs> Not me. I mean, like this house is very sexy. And uh, <clears throat> I think Miranda Kerr, Kerr, Miranda Kerr, Kerr. Yeah, she's one of my favorite models with the wings and stuff. I think she was Victoria's Secret model. So they have quite a few uh, sweet. They have a lot variety of body mist. I smell them everywhere. And uh, I think they are really popular among women. Women tend to buy a lot of these uh, body mist, you know, shimmers. They have a wide range of products. So when I smell this, you know, I, when I saw the name, I'm like, lemon. Hmm, let me try that. I sprayed this on. The bottle is not very premium. It looks like a cheap bottle. This is how that looks like. It looks like a $5 or $2 cologne. I paid basically like, a, I think around, how much was it? $20? I think around $15, $20, not more than that. So, you know, this is this is a very simple glass bottle at the plastic chrome cap with the golden atomizer. You can see it's cheap. But when I sprayed it, I mean, like, <laughs> I had to buy this and I'll tell you why. I have pre sprayed on the paper. And this fragrance, it's, <clears throat> let's talk about longevity first. Let's spray this first. Sorry, yeah. Let's go once more for the opening top note. Sprayer is okay for a small atomizer. I don't, I don't think I will uh, mind or complain. It's a very simplistic presentation, nothing mind-blowing. I like their body mist bottles better. But when I smell it, if you find this somewhere, just, just get it. Do yourself a favor, get it. If you are a fan of coconut. And coconut is a fragrance note I did not like at first when I started my journey. I'll tell you honestly. Uh, when I opened up <clears throat> my channel or my journey I started, I felt like coconut reminds me of something like a hair oil I have. I use hair oil. Where is my hair oil at? It's somewhere there. I don't know where I kept it. But hair oil, basically for my hair, people ask me what product I use. I use coconut oil most of the time, you know, because it keeps my head cool. And then, you know, the roots are rich. But I did not like to smell coconut in a fragrance because it reminded me of the hair oil, you know. Just like when I use oud and rose, it reminds me sort of like a rose water that we use in our prayers and stuff. So it's like atar smell. You know, atar Bangladesh means like the ones you throw on people during the, we call it milad, you know. So prayers for the disease sometimes, you know. <clears throat> So people wear white and stuff. So we spray that, sprinkle that. So I was never a fan of oud and rose and I was never a fan of coconut. These two notes used to get me really sick. But slowly with time, I started loving coconut because I love tonka bean. Tonka bean sometimes give that crunchy, chocolatey, uh, caramel-ish, you know, vibe, which also get from coconut. So I started like bounty, if you know the chocolate. So I'm talking too much, but if you like those descriptions, if you like virgin island water, if you like those coconut, you know, like based, you know, or suntan lotion thing fragrances. This is going to be easy love for even if a guy, it reminds me of something like Dolce Vita or something. I don't know what, there's a lemony perfume. Long time ago, I don't remember what house it was. I think Ball, <coughs> Ball, now what's that house? Balmain, you know, I think Balmain or something. They had a fragrance and that like creates Neroli Savage. If you know that perfume, the lemon on the Neroli, bitter Neroli. I get that lemony Sicilian lemon from this mixed with the coconut. It, the opening is so beautiful. It's like a lemon candy, outer body is lemon candy. In the center, you feel like this thing with a coconut, you know, like or something like a sweet, tropical, 
sweetness you know it's like very sweet perfume very sexy seductive sort of fragrance at the same time it reminds me of fragrance like nishan is ani okay there you go now you are interested this is very similar to the fashion of ani where is my ani at man when i need stuff it's they are not around you know i don't know where i kept my ani or i have it here okay if you actually love nishan is ani okay my body is almost going out this is similar to that okay and if you like the fragrance other one was like what the fragrance i like um uh juicy kutor no i have to show you stuff today you know i'm in that kind of mood i slept lolita lambica green lover okay if you love this you're going to find this very similar but a lot more citrus lot more coconut very sweet it has kind of like a feminine vibe because it's built for women but man this stuff i want to drink it's so tasty it's kind of like the drinks that you make non alcoholic it's so good it's lemon uh ginger not ginger uh, kind of like a fizzy sprite and then lemon sprite and then perhaps pina colada pina colada pina colada you know pina colada so let's say description is this if you gone to a uh, holiday you know with your family <clears throat> away from your work you've been waiting for your holiday put this in your purse you'll see it will fit nicely in your purse right and then take it finish like halfway through for your 7 days of holiday and bring back memories you all like santan your hair is all you know like <laughs> like monica what happened to her in friends uh and then you come back with lot of the souvenirs everything this fragrance will be excellent fragrance for uh like some th- something like a resort you know like the ocean you know if you're spending a lot of time on the beach by the beach this smells amazing and if you do like the note of coconut you're going to really dig this and i think guys if you like it give it a try i like it i like it a lot and it's very lemony that's the citrusy part is just so keeping the whole thing uh going too much coconut you know so fine balance you know so if you like those fragrances ani virgin island water the lolita lampica green lover and this kind of fragrance try it out amazing fragrance okay this is such a beautiful the longevity is okay i get like 3 hours and it disappears totally but for the price no complaints right so this is called citrus lime victoria secrets lemon escape for the smell this is a 10 okay for the price value i would give this like overall 8.5 out of 10 so check it out lemon escape by once again victoria secrets sparkling citrus line i would like to review some more from this line if i find it and victoria secret i actually am a big fan anyway if you never tried bombshell try that one that is hands down the sexiest fruity fun long lasting you know like goes with high heat so they really do summer fragrance as well thank you very much for watching and uh, if you are a female and you watch my reviews i'm so sorry sometimes i can i get too busy with male perfumes i'm really sorry about that but my line of work actually i have to make choices you know i'm not sponsored by anybody so i have to spend my money so i have to make sort of like a wise decision at times but it's always a pleasure to do women's perfume thank you very much for watching love you thanks for the support time to move on to the second no sorry third review have a nice day